Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely gonna take a go Yeah, sleep, take some sick. Yes. And take a take a bunch with you. Oh yeah. Um, speaking about whatever we're talking about, we weren't talking about it, but it literally just happened before I turned my phone on. Um, I've hmm, actually hmm. Okay. So, on social media, not aggressively, but whenever I post something involving and McCall, it's generally been negative. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll cut the name out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just because... Any it. reasons. And it. just now, I, I mean, earlier today, I posted something on Instagram and I tagged them in it. And they just like liked and commented on it. All nice. And uh, made you feel it's good. It's not really. It, it kind of just made me think like they haven't seen what I've been saying, which is <laughs> <laughs> annoying. <laughs> um, <laughs> means it's like we have beef with someone, and they don't even. They're not even on the other side of it. It's like it goes. Negativity never really works out in the end. I guess um, they never saw me trashing them. So jokes on me. Damn, Anyways, uh, Travis Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? What's up? What's up? Pretty um, good. Nice. Fuck yeah. yeah. Pretty Sick. good. Doing pretty good Hell right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, we planned that. And <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, you're. F I, I know you're from Alabama. Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama. Like born yeah. and raised? No, I was. I was born in Germany. I was born in oh. Wiesbaden, Germany. My dad was like in the military. I was in the military, but like Montgomery's like my home. That's where my mom's family's from. That's where we like stayed after they got divorced and shit. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, since like fourth grade till yeah, I graduated from high school. Auf Wiedersehen, dude. Yeah, Wiedersehen, bro. <laughs> Fucking. So do you have dual citizenship? I do. Nice. I do. Ooh. I went there. I went back there when I was fourteen because I wanted to see the hospital I was born in. Yeah. And the only reason I have dual citizenship because my mom went into labor and it wasn't. Uh, she couldn't like get back to post fast enough to have me, so they took her to like a German hospital. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My uh, my stepbrother was born in Germany mm. and has dual citizenship there, so he can like, you know, if shit really goes. Hits the fan here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm deucing out, dude. I'm yeah. fucking going back to the motherland. You know what I mean? Or the fatherland? That's what they call it. Is, do they? I think maybe. Deutschland. Right. Deutschland. Is that Deutschland that the fatherland. That's what, that what the Nazis said, yeah. right? It's like for the fatherland. Oh. I think the motherland. That's what like mm. Russians yeah, say. Yeah, that is a Russia. Yeah, Mother yeah, yeah. Russia. Mother Russia. Mm -hmm. Father Germany. Uncle hmm. Switzerland. I don't know. Baby Latvia. <laughs> baby Latvia. <laughs> the whole European family. My brother just got back from half a semester at Germany in Germany. Or um, is he a Nazi now? I don't know. He, he sure looks like it because <laughs> he looks like me. <laughs> just with like a shaved head. Just like <laughs> he's telling everybody it's alopecia, but he's just really like got onto some weird subreddits. Like he came back home, he's like, "Hello, Max." I'm like, "Oh boy, <laughs> yikes." Mm -hmm. It's like waving at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> <Like, fuck. laughs> he just he just starts getting fit like Edward Norton in American History X. <laughs> like, you see him dipping between beds and stuff. Like, Hell so. yeah, dude! <laughs> oh my god! Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> You're going to the doctor later. Welcome to Idaho. Uh, his last name's Martin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, oh, I. I call my I call my docs uh, my Doctor Martin Luther King's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually a response. Like, except like older white people are like, oh okay. They're like, they give you like like just like a person that colored in the lines response is like, oh good for you. Like yeah, I'm just like all right, dude. I, I thought that was pretty quippy. All right, like, fuck me. <laughs> Roll time. <laughs> Dude, we're losing the god, dude. Huh? Nick Saban? Gods, the gods are tiring now, dude. Who? Fucking he's, Nick Saban. He's dude. retiring, really? Yeah, you guys. Know I didn't know that. Uh, I'm yeah, not gonna know. lie. All I know about Alabama is Roll Tide and a few songs and the stereotypical incest jokes. Yeah, which is unfair because I feel like that's West Virginia. I don't feel like take me home. Yeah, yeah. They they're like I don't know, like mountain people. I feel like they're more 
Like if you yeah, have in the like, Appalachians, yeah, and stuff. you know, if you live Mountain. next to a coal mine, you probably fuck your sister. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. That's mm. well, not, fumes. I yeah. see. It's like yeah, you, you fucking got black lung. You're not gonna live long. You're already getting mutated <laughs> because you're fucking working in a fucking coal mine, like, mm. and drinking water from the runoff. Like, I don't, I don't know. I always like, not. I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> like. About like oh people are like oh you fuck your cousins it's just like nah because that's probably a white people thing anyway but yeah, like for sure also, I don't know why anyone in Idaho is saying that dude people, <laughs> yeah like we don't have any, no one in Idaho has any room to talk dude, I remember, we I remember, all fucked our I remember being at a family it reunion happens. and my dad being like what about her she's pretty good I'm like that's my cousin dog and he's like yeah but she's your second cousin and I'm like are you like saying <laughs> different this okay? bloodline dude. <laughs> Do you gotta like, keep that bloodline pure? This is bro. wild. To me. You gotta keep that bloodline pure. He's like, pure. she's got a really. Her dad has a really nice piece of property in Garden Valley. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Dude, you gotta give her like an ox, like okay. at your wedding day. Like, you gotta, <laughs> My dad's like, like, I got you a goat to give to the cousin. <laughs> nah, dude. No, I I will say that's that's a thing that could happen not like in a go out of your way for it but because like montgomery is so small and there are like so many like interconnected pockets of like families like you could totally like probably find a girl and like hang out with her and then the next week she's at a family reunion and you wouldn't even fucking realize like that could probably happen too it probably does uh one time i uh without naming names uh consciously um (laughs) i I had a fling with a gal, and whenever I told family members about it, uh, we were cool like that. <laughs> whenever like, mom I'm out here throwing dick. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> I could not <laughs> ever imagine. But, but whenever I uh, mentioned the person's last name, they would always say, or the, there's usually a gasp, uh, depending on which side of the family I was talking to. <laughs> And and clutching like, the pearls. So yeah, yeah, and they're like, Max! And I'm like, what? <laughs> and they'd be like, you know that that last name has like been like involved in our family. Like, what if she's... And I'm like 99% sure she's not. Yeah. <laughs> last names don't mean shit, especially when it's like common ones. Like, my mom's, a whole different race My mom's everything. main name was Johnson. Yeah. And, like, I'm That's not going <laughs> to take every girl with the last name Johnson out of my pool. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's very, it's a very common name off rip. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, the funniest, like, thing. Uh, so I have a really good buddy who I do, like, comedy with. His name is Tyler Fomby. Fucking hilarious. He tells me the story about when his son was born. And it was, like, one of those cases of, like, someone hears a name and it's like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? And, you know, the nurse... Like literally, like her, his uh, baby mom was like crowning almost. Like the the baby's like on the way, and she's like telling her to push and, oh, and she, yeah, <laughs> fucking super hot. Don't get too boned up out there. Uh, and she's like, "Hey, is your last name blah blah blah?" And she's like, "Yeah." She's like, "Are you related to such and such?" And she's like, "Yeah, that's my uncle." And she's just like, without missing a beat, it's like, oh, yeah, your uncle killed my dad. All right, push. <laughs> like, and, she, and both of them are like, what? excuse me? And she's like, no, honey, don't feel bad. It was over a woman. Like, <laughs> Wait, like, did, did, w- did the person giving birth, like, have any, like, what did you say? Oh, or? yeah, they both did. Like, my buddy was just like, I just assumed, what like, the, the moment fuck? my son came out, she was just going to break his neck and be like, blood for blood, and, like, <laughs> run out of the room. Like, Your timing sucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. It's, Holy shit. Yeah, dude. I was. Could you imagine, though, like, That's you're fucking, wrong. like, delivering the baby of, like, the niece who, like killed your uncle or your dad or whatever like not only it's that like sounds you, like old westy like. it's like also you discover that like right as your mid job yeah. <laughs> yeah she's like you're like oh, by the way <laughs> whether or not she's gonna murder this baby oh, yeah, yeah. she's the only god in that yeah, room right now yeah, like <laughs> do you know how she like got her attention to ask that where she did like tap her on the vulva and was just like <laughs> hey uh, like I think hey, it was like way. almost like, she's like, like I can football. see the face. <laughs> yeah, I think it was almost like football. Like when someone's about to hike the ball, she's like right there about to catch. She's like, "Hey, small talk, small talk, small talk." <laughs> Blue forty. Hey, really quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, you were. That was you. Okay. So, huh? <laughs> that's so fucking it's wild. A- yeah, dude. No, that's what I'm saying. It's a small fucking place, man. Montgomery. Yeah, Montgomery, <laughs> Wetumpka, like those, Prattville, like those like connecting like kind of like, I would guess you would say like cities and like towns like they like it's it's so easy to just run into somebody man that you have met mm. even in the like periphery of your life that you've known you know yeah i definitely always thought of like montgomery and like just i just think of like eastern cities way bigger than boise like and stuff because like boise's tiny and boise has that like small town feel where like i can't go to the grocery store and not see someone i know usually like yeah it's it's that vibe too though mm-hmm. like you'll definitely like go into a grocery store and see someone you went to school with a coach you might have played like yeah. football for like a teacher somebody from your fucking church it's just like it's just always that thing i think that's the only reason i did so well for myself like like lady wise because it's just like <laughs> you throw good enough dick there everyone's gonna try you <laughs> Like, hey, your Yelp uh, review is insane, uh, yeah. dude. I've, I think that might be why I did decent in college too. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you throw a rod like an old Chevy. Let's yeah. see what's up. Like, take it for a spin. Yeah. <laughs> Some Samson Large. A Samson Large, That's right. brother. Bro, yeah, dude. You have the wildest porn name <laughs> ever. I feel, like, I, know. I feel like you're in the wrong thing, dude. Like, I know. I I have a joke about that. And that's that coming too, from Travis but... Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, That's my uh, my grandpa's name was Dick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it Dick or was it Richard? It's Richard, but he oh, went okay. by Dick. Dick and yeah. then my other grandpa's name is Dick Large. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, he should have joined the army, dude. He was he was a marine. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, dude! Everybody Ooh, had to read rah. his name backwards, dude. <laughs> exactly. Look for Johnson, Large Johnson, <laughs> Large Dick. Like, Everybody's snickering and shit. Dude, like, exactly. So I like a prank on me. <laughs> I've been trying to do a joke about that for a while, but it's like that's got it, legs. Yeah, that's fucking I think there. so too. <laughs> you got foundation, baby. <laughs> no, dude, that means you gotta have a hog, right? Like you gotta be like. Proportionately, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little guy. <laughs> if my dick was on like, max, it would look really normal. <laughs> No, my, my buddy. Now it's about me. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy, like, he's like a, a short dude. His whole thing, he's a, he's an abbreviated American. That's what he calls himself. But like, he wears like short. He wears like a uh, like sweat. Oh yeah, we're ones to talk about big dicks. <laughs> No, he hates Whoops. it though. <laughs> he like wears sweatpants all the time and like Travis will like Johnson, joke about everybody. it. Like, Travis is Johnson, everyone. Yeah. My my Brown Johnson. <laughs> like that's my production. Like, Sick. Yeah. Me and my, my buddy Trey Brown. My Brown Johnson. <laughs> so good. <laughs> No, dude, but he he constantly like fucking gets mad every time we tell people he has a hog, which is it's true because he wears sweatpants all the fucking time. If you wear sweatpants in public, you can't like get upset if people are like. Well, he says he says it's a regular dick on a small dude's body. That's That's what he says. Like it's proportion. It's like how they made the hobbits look small. (laughs) Does he get mad or is he like, hey, stop talking about my dick? (laughs) Guys, really stop. Stop talking about my giant dick, you guys. Like, it's like, like so annoying. Yeah. Ever, like, <laughs> like, you're at, like you're at the club, like all sitting at a table, and no one's even talking about it. And he's like from across the room, like, "Hey guys, stop talking about my massive hog <laughs> <laughs> in front of all these chicks in this club." <laughs> I know, man. Don't tell him it's super veiny. Like, oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's, see, yeah, yeah he, probably not that part. But you know. huge <laughs> that's, that's Tyler. He's <laughs> Dude, if he ever sees this, he's gonna be like, "You fucking That's piece of so shit." Like, I hope he does. But I'll yeah. say, "Be like sick dick, bro." Like, sick, like, sick dick, my guy. Sick dick, dude. Hell yeah, man. As uh, someone with an average dude. dick with a body that looks like it should also be weirdly big. <laughs> <laughs> fist me. <laughs> um, what's fun to do in Montgomery? <laughs> I don't know if I can wait for death. Uh, um, there's a lot. I mean, it's it's most like any other place that like has like a factory and like football. It's like sports, drinking, going out. Like we have like you know Lake Martin where like the three lakes meet. So like going boating and shit if you can afford that. You know people do that or just going swimming, going to the watering hole. You know? 
Um, oh, are there there's gators in that lake. watering hole? Yeah, there's, there's a... So we have, like, the fourth most biodiverse um, state in the country. So there is a <laughs> bunch of... Oh, yeah. Fucking, Go off. Hell, yeah. Slay. For biodiversity. Uh, slay, yeah, dude. Not, not really <laughs> yes. good at human diversity, but, uh, you know... But we got moss, baby. Yeah, moss. We got, we, got, we got Spanish moss. No, dude, we have, like, a shit yes ton of stuff. Moss. <laughs> so... You, have you have you been swimming with alligators? Uh, yeah, I actually have. I remember one Whoa. time it was like the I almost like drowned at the lake, like because I had taken a bunch of shrooms and like drank, <laughs> and I just remembered like once again as I tell this story, could have been the shrooms, mm-hmm. could have just been trash, <laughs> like. But I'm pretty sure I saw like a fucking like alligator like kind of pop its head up oh, and I was shit. just like I'm getting out of the fucking water and I mean I was pretty close to shore or whatever so it wasn't like I was like just having to swim away from it but I yeah. was like fuck that like do you ever see them just like in the road when you're driving around no it's not like Florida no. like okay. you'll you'll see them in their the areas they need to be in yeah because they I mean they they're like habitats are like getting smaller because of just like how much shit is getting built out there especially like since the casino and like with tumka because it's like back towards there and yeah you'll see them but like they're not it's not like the 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 online videos you see them of like in florida just like in a walmart parking lot just like hanging out no like Like every time like someone's gonna we have so many like game wardens and shit they they keep them in like their designated areas most of the time crikey you grow up hunting or anything uh i i didn't start hunting until i moved there and okay. my buddy was like a bow hunter he later became an anti-semite but that's neither here nor there <laughs> i hate when uh, that happens it was the worst hunting buddies always become anti-semites it was the worst if you know me <laughs> Before you know this, I'm you were six, that. six. <laughs> yep. You know I'm six six, and the best hunting buddies always, always anti semites. That's like worst they, part about it. I found out when like the first time I did acid. He oh, like shit. he like came out to me like that. Like I would have rather he said he was gay. Like I would've, <laughs> it would have been an easier like thing to deal with. But like yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I really feel good. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Just be like, yeah. Oh, like, hell yeah, man. I'm here for him. Yeah, dude. Was, yeah, dude. Sweet. Like you know. But he was just like, so what? I'm an anti <laughs> And like I was just like, dude, you have Jewish friends. Like you buy weed from Jake. Jake's Jewish, dude. Like he's and then he hit me with he's just like, he's one of the good ones. I was like, ah, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> like, that's the funniest thing about anti Semites oh, is they always are friends with a bunch of Jews and they just don't know like what a Jew is. Yeah. And then when you ever you tell them they always go with that one. Yeah. Like always. And I was like, one. I'm black. He's like, You're black. Oh. I was like <laughs> he didn't know. Nah, dude. He he was just a shithead. I think that he ended up like just frying his brain with hallucinogens and listening to like way too much like Alex Jones and like that kind of <laughs> ilk. You know what I mean? Like he believed in like lizard travel and shit too. Like for real. Like, also follow well, our yeah, Asian are, friend <laughs> uh, Travis Johnson. <laughs> Hell yeah, I South think. Korean Travis Johnson. <laughs> I think <laughs> South Korean Kim. Like they call yeah, me Lil Kim. <laughs> Yeah, dude. How uh, long you been doing stand up? Um, off and on for like three years now. Okay. Like early days when like I first got out of the military, I was doing it a lot. Like first first set I ever did was it was in Afghanistan. Oh shit! Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It was this uh, talent show thing that some of the soldiers had like put together, and it was like mainly like music and like poetry and shit. But like one of my homeboys, fucking shout out to Steven Shav- Savage, man. Savage got me to fucking do the shit. He was just S- like... SS. Nah, dude. He just cheats on his wife. That's the worst that he does. Not anymore. But, uh... No, well, yeah, I'm sure they're, they were not together. The, no, they're not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Worked through it, yeah. right through the relationship. <laughs> yeah, they figured it out in the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's got custody, and that's what matters. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, he uh, he was just like, yeah, dude, like you fucking, you know, just talk shit in the bay all the time. Just go up there and do that. And I just like went up and roasted people and like made jokes about shit and it was mostly about like day-to-day life and shit yeah but. what's what's like the ratio of what is only applicable to the people you were talking to versus what's like like good stand-up jokes i think the roasts were solid i think that's that's like 
where I get most of like my observation is the fact that like I like look at someone and be like, all right, this is probably you know what you're insecure about maybe i don't know and i'll just like take a shot in the dark but i was always good at it like even those shots in the dark were like pretty accurate half the time and i was like mm. all right but like as far as like tangible relatable shit and be like don't you hate it when you have to fucking like get fucking fucking uh I was at the mall the other duty? day like you oh, know yeah. like and shit like fire guard sucks right like you know <laughs> Don't you hate having to shoot brown kids? Like, you know, it's like stuff like that. Like that would that would run. <laughs> I'll try dude, joke, I'll try, I'll try his legs anywhere, dude. Like I do I do have a like a joke kind of about that where it's uh I, it, it like it talks about like me doing like therapy and stuff but it's like uh you know i have ptsd which means i'm not good with crowds and i don't trust arabic people <laughs> just kidding i'm okay with crowds you know? <laughs> and that's like i remember i said that and there was an arabic girl like in the crowd the first time i tried that joke and she like leaned down in her seat and like all of her friends was like it's okay i was like dude no i i do not fucking like it's not real like it's a fucking joke just kidding <laughs> just kidding man i do not fuck with you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like cock a gun. Oh like, God. Just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like. That's funny. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's <That's> funny as <laughs> fuck. Yeah, you know the funniest fucking hate crimes. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest hate crime. Yeah, dude, a legend. <laughs> <laughs> if you hate crime, a clown is it funny? For sure. Yeah. yeah. For I sure. mean, how do you not make also, fun of a clown without clowns. being funny? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, fully dressed up clowns? Not Wait. about it. How no. do you hate crime a clown? Just I don't kidding. know. You find out if it has Jewish heritage. Oh. And, um, yeah, I don't know. That's not oh, what I, I thought. Was thinking, yeah, I was, I was no, thinking, no, no. like, I maybe. I feel like you just beat up a clown. Like, I feel like. Oh. But I don't know. I feel like there's some people that treat being a clown like a religion, maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's really. <laughs> you gotta go to college. I'm just saying, shit, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying shit, bro. I'm one PBR in. This, mount, this mountaineer is getting me tipsy. <laughs> no, that's, that's my boss, one of my bosses is from. Like, I have a client that I work with from Atlanta, and we were just talking about that today. He's like, yeah, when I first moved to Boise last year, I had like one cocktail, and I was just on my ass, <laughs> and I was like, that's fucking wild. Because I remember, like, when I was in Georgia, I was just like fucking putting down like so many beers <laughs> oh yeah you like, can you can get i am so fine right now. oh yeah you can get you can get ripped like i i feel like you're like a like an athlete like you, you come down and like you've been drinking like varsity your whole life and then you go to jv you're like this ain't shit like, dude no it's funny because like when we were growing up we grew up in like a smaller mountain town that's like probably three thousand feet higher than this elevation it's mm. like a mile high and on our soccer team we didn't have any subs we didn't have enough kids for a substitution so we come down to the valley and play kids down here and shit and like i was pretty fat in high school but i would play the entire fucking soccer game like as a midfielder like running all over the fucking place yeah, dude, you have like never take a break lungs. and i just and like everyone would be like how the fuck is this fat kid running all over the place? <laughs> it's, it's not like, fair because we're dude. fucking up training dude like animals mile yeah, high like olympic athletes y'all training like khabib and shit like <laughs> like running through the frozen lake yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna assume I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess what you guys were talking about you guys ever like you know run a lot at a high elevation and then you do a race at a low elevation you're like wow this is really easy because there's just so much oxygen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm sucking it up right now. <laughs> exactly, like, yeah. exactly it, man. You know, Some with elevation. Yeah. I was so, talking about how, like, when we were in high school we, and we didn't have any subs on our soccer team. Sandwiches. Like <laughs> substitutions. Oh, we'd, we'd have to have play any, like full. You didn't have enough cold cuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd always go to subway after the game. <laughs> it's like our one chain. <laughs> <laughs> it was Chick Fil A for us. That's our like after sports event. Really? Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's luxurious, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, I love these sandwiches. I'm sorry, they hate the gays. I just wanna, <laughs> just wanna say that sandwiches are good. Still support Not gay people. We, we had a, <laughs> we had a Chick Fil A on our campus at U of I, and I never had it ever because like 
first off, I never tried it because I grew up in a town with no like fast food. And then like uh, my friends had told me like, oh, it's the hey gays. <laughs> so I was like, right, I'm not gonna go there then. <laughs> and then he's immediately like, like, I gotta see what this I'm is about. Gonna, I'm just not gonna go. I'm just like, fuck it. <laughs> then, Come for the hate, stay for the chicken sandwiches. And then, <laughs> and then I'm on. <laughs> but then I like got on like the IFC, which is like the Interfraternal Council or whatever. And it's like our president and like w the secretary. The secretary was this dude who was like flamboyantly gay and would come in to our meetings every day with Chick-fil-A nuggets and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be like, is it that good? <laughs> it, it is, dude. It'll, make, like, it'll make you question your morals. And, and like, like, me, like, yeah. I remember, I remember <laughs> like, hands, he hands me like the lemonade and I tried it. I was like, fuck, dude. That dude, is I get a half and half every time. Oh, it's so I good. I get the same order. Yeah, yeah. I get a half and half every time I drink their <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Same order every time. Chicken sandwich, fries, twelve piece nuggets, half and half. Have it ready when he gets home. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know who you are. Bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. What 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 is there to do here? Like what was it like growing up here? Like Uh where we grew up is like a couple hours north of here and that we like we're just like outside all the time like our parents would just throw us out of the house and be like go skiing and then we'd like we got our licenses pretty young so like we'd just drive our fucking cars up into the mountain and like go hike up like where there's like no trails or whatever for fun and, that's, like, that's sick it was pretty dope it was it's mccall's the spot where like if you like outdoorsy stuff you would always have something to do yeah if you if you were not if you're anything else you're gonna kind of stay inside and probably not like winter and outside yeah i kind of i which is fine it's just no i i i was always kind of that kind of kid young and it wasn't until the move and we like moved to like a city mm -hmm. that's when shit got kind of limiting but we still had like cousins who lived in the country yeah so like we could go out and like do shit and i, I was always like a big fucking outside kid because i like played sports like young even though i wasn't really fucking good at it but i like to be like outside and shit that yeah. was the other thing is like because it was a small town like you could play whatever sport you wanted like there was no tryouts like you, you would be on the team, team yeah. you know like, <laughs> like you sign up for jv and you're playing varsity and jv <laughs> <laughs> man that's fucking that's nice there's no there's no fucking alienation to anybody like no dude we, we need bodies so just yeah, fucking get out here exactly like and like everybody like you know everyone from fucking preschool you know like my graduating class was like like his was a lot bigger than mine but mine had a lot of dropouts so ours was like 40 something kids damn yeah, mine was a lot bigger with like 90 <laughs> <laughs> see that's great like my my graduating class was because jd was like a huge fucking high school it was 300 people like we had to go to like Fuck. yeah we had to go to a. it's called the acadome it's like where they do like basketball games and shit <laughs> the acadome no you know what it's, you know what it's actually actually called <laughs> it's called the nigloo that's what like the white people in town call it because what? yeah because it looks like an igloo those. on top it's like a it's like a dome like yeah, a yeah but they used to call it because it's on alabama state it's a hbcu and it's on their campus so like i remember the first time i heard that i was like wow racism is hilarious yeah, that's fucking that's, that's wild. crazy like that's fucking wild as shit the nigloo that's wild Jesus as fuck, dude Christ. that's what it's like it's there's something to it where it's just like it's hateful but if it makes you like what <laughs> like, that's what they call it damn dude that's someone really thought about that like that was passed down for generations someone's granddad said that and it's been going down the chain ever since oh my then God. and then kyle in my fucking fifth grade class called it that i was just like <laughs> that's fucking crazy dude like, like, holy shit kyle of course it was a kyle fucking kyle <laughs> Yeah, I dude. know seven Kyles who would have said that in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's a he's a drywall champion now. <laughs> he is. Uh, what sports did you do? I played soccer. Nice. I was like young. I think that was the only one that I was like seemingly good at because I was really short when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So like I tried basketball, wasn't good at it. Tried football, I was okay, but they kept like trying to like put me in like like yeah, you're fucking can't even put the pants on because we don't make pants small enough for you oh, you'll be a shit. d line a d lineman and i'm like dude what the fuck like you guys are just trying to see me in my head cracked <laughs> and yeah and then, 
then I, I discovered uh, soccer. Did that for like a while. Was pretty You're, good at fucking you soccer. You started. You discovered soccer. I did, shit. dude. <laughs> You're welcome. Shout out, to <laughs> You're welcome. It all started Holy back shit. in when 2000 something. Yeah, 2004. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where did you find it? Um, <laughs> it was right after 9-11, and we were all, like, you know, kind of still dealing with that, and I just kicked a ball across uh, my room, and I was like, we should do this with, like, 12 people on the field with nets it's and some kind of point system. Because I always... Grade. You're a genius, yeah, dude. Holy shit. I always heard it was found in the ocean, but that's... <laughs> No, I the thing I got good at was fucking wrestling though. That's when mm -hmm. like I I was like a junior in high school and I did like training camp with the football players and I got like yoked and I just started folding dudes up. Nice. I can mm. see that. Yeah. You got like kind of a wrestler build for sure. Yeah, like I'm I'm still like like even now, like I'm a little taller, but even then like I was like short and stocky, so it was like 145, 150. Yeah. 155 I wrestled at and went to state. Did not place, but still got there. Fuck still yeah. got to the big no, show. That's impressive. That was fucking cool. Fuck yeah. Yeah, but it was a lot of dudes who were just like, just fucking monsters, dude. They just looked like they were juicing. And yeah. I was like, you're in what grade? Like, no, Jesus fuck, sure. Wrestling dude. Like, was crazy. I was on the wrestling team my freshman year at our high school, and our program was like gnarly, gnarly. And like, there were some seniors that were just like, 180 like 61 and just, just solid dude like, brick, yeah. just solid brick shit houses like, that like, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like dude like i like you were in kindergarten with me man like how did you turn into this yeah, like fucking monsters yeah dude. you look like fucking eddie brock like just fucking <laughs> Just venom, just like straight up just yoked i'm like dude fuck you dude like we're not eating the same things like yeah I'm they're eating, eating way more creatine oh yeah dude <laughs> Did you have any gnarly like weight loss methods? Uh, no, I was always like a skinny kid, so it was like when I started gaining weight. Like, I want to be a fat person, to be honest with you. I want to be like, like, like Action Bronson fat. Whoa, oh, shit. yeah, <laughs> like it, like still stocky, but just that build. I want yeah. that. Okay, so I'm just like just creasing New Balances. You've just been eating a lot. <laughs> yeah, dude, just creasing New Balances every time I put them on and walk around. Like I want to be that fat. Yeah. Just crumpling them up. Oh Sick. My God. Yeah. I want what have you that. been doing to achieve that lately? How? What's your calorie uh, eating poorly? Like? New balance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> eating poorly. Um, no, I I actually do powerlifting now. So like oh, okay. I I got, I'm pretty good at uh, just eating more. I used to be like addicted to cocaine. So that's like since I got through like the first like because this is my second year now of being clean. So like nice. the first year like it was just like trying to eat more because I was yeah. just used to like eating blow all totally. the time <laughs> so just like now it's just like i eat like three times a day and i was like remember when you just only did this once yeah remember because you didn't need to you know <laughs> and, now, and now you can't stop eating and it's it's an amazing thing you love to eat now yeah. it's a great feeling to have that's dope like, Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah shout out cocaine saving you money on food it does it does i would only <laughs> eat like two bags of gummy bears and like two power aids that's what i would eat like in the course of maybe two days i would have like maybe like one big like meal like i get something from fast food yeah get like two burgers or some shit but then after that right back to the other plate just just getting it yeah nice. right out of the microwave <laughs> <laughs> so you had a problem yeah, 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 yeah dude yeah when you're doing like coke on a monday and playing fallout by yourself like that's when you have a problem that's true when you're just snorting lines and building your base you're not even like playing the game you're not even playing quest she was like um, I, 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 more beds. <laughs> I just put an arena over here so they can fight for my amusement it's like dude when's the last time you called your dad like what is what, what is going on with you dude like Should your family misses you interior yeah. design yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what it was i think that's that's where i'll go if comedy doesn't pan out you guys are just gonna see me in some kind of magazine it's <laughs> like oh yeah i put the drapes up at julia roberts house or some fucking weird shit like this is just like <laughs> just like <fun. laughs> zooted up watching fucking mexican dudes put up fucking drapes. that's how all those interior <laughs> designers <Move the couch>. <laughs> <laughs> all those white women <laughs> <laughs> I know some interior designers. They're definitely doing that. <laughs> uh, I feel. I feel like yeah, dude. That's that's definitely a lifestyle that suits cocaine. So you, it's 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 a needless job 
Like we're gonna that, put six glass coffee tables. Yeah. In this <laughs> it's a it's a needless job that pays a lot. <laughs> yeah. That you have to be like skinny and pretty to get your way in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna fucking list some dude like named Tevin who's like balding and like kind of chubby and be like, Oh man, I think this color palette would match this one. No, dude. No, so I want like, Tiffany. Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany, dude. Coke to the gills, dude, yeah, dude. With a fucking dog in her purse telling you what rugs. <laughs> she Have you heard yeah. of a hammock in your living room? <laughs> I think it could bring a whole new element to your life. <laughs> As you <don't> yeah. <laughs> right she said, oh. yeah. I'm quirky. <laughs> Do you have a bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> and knee ways if you could try out a different hairstyle what would it be <laughs> um i would want a mullet to mullet, be honest really a mullet or like a skullet maybe what's a skullet it's like a mullet but you just cut but the you top shave off the top completely mm-hmm. mm. yeah mullet though i feel like mullet matches like travis like if you heard my name was Travis, I had a mullet in El Camino, and then I showed up to your house looking like this, you would be thoroughly <laughs> disappointed. Like, Aww. <laughs> Aww, man, I thought I was going to be a good old boy. Like, yeah, dude. Mullet for sure. My home, no, one of my homeboys has a funny like, little guy <laughs> who used to have a Coke problem. <laughs> Just another veteran that <laughs> used to be an addict. <laughs> I at least wasn't homeless. I think that was that was the one thing I skated past. You didn't let it get that far. Yeah, I didn't let it get that far to where I was Credit in the street. where it's due. Yeah, you know, like, I asked my mom for gas money a lot, but I never, <laughs> always paid my rent on time. You know what I mean? Like, Doesn't matter what kind of gas, mom. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go to sleep. I need gas money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, what were we talking about? Hairstyles. <laughs> right. Yeah, m- mullet. Skullet. 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 Yeah, dude. If I had the... That's a scary name. <laughs> Skullet? Yeah, I, I don't like that name. Skullet sounds like... It's a, like a cacophonous word. That <laughs> <laughs> it's It sounds like a like an urban legend at a summer camp. Yeah, okay. Like how they keep the kids out of the woods. You know what I mean? There's like skullets out there. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna, the skullet, he's Travis? Gonna, he's gonna butt fuck you. Whoa! Oh, God, no! no. <laughs> Does he only did come you, out at night? Did you go to a summer camp as a kid? I I did, but it wasn't like a summer camp. Summer camp. I went to like drama and musical theater. So oh, sick. Oh, shit. It was so, it yeah, was so dude. Okay. <laughs> it, was so okay. it was called Taps, and it was because like <laughs> Taps, dude. It was yeah. called Taps, and I used to I used to be able to like before like puberty and cigarettes. Like I used to be able to fucking sing because I had like a very like. Like yeah, I sound like this voice, uh, okay. yeah, and like man. I could sing like pretty fucking well. And my mom was just like, yeah, like go, because she thought that was that was gonna get me out the hood. Oh, yeah. type thing. <laughs> she, my baby's gonna sing, and he's gonna be the next fucking whatever. And like I was just like, no, nah, dude, like I've been fucking skateboarding, chain smoking, <laughs> hang out with white women. Like that's not my, <laughs> it's not my path. Like, but yeah, That'll fucking taps. That was the only and vacation Bible school mm. like that. Do you have any songs that you could like rip right now? Not right now. You don't have to sing. I'm not saying sing something, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, do you ever kind of keep yeah, on still, with the singing? I still do like karaoke and shit. Yeah. Like I'll I'll sing like uh like Sturgill Simpson. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'll, I, my my go to is "You Can Have the Crown" by Sturgill Simpson. Nice. Like, yeah. Well, I've been spending all my money on weed and pills, trying gotcha. to write a song. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I fishtailed out of many a Win Dixie parking lot to that song. <laughs> boy, just, like, do you have a favorite musical? A favorite musical? Yeah. Um, I don't think I do. I don't think I know that many like musicals. Mm. Is the Goofy movie technically a Fuck musical? Yeah, we just watched that like two days ago. The Goofy movie yeah. is. I'm, the epitome of a musical. <laughs> I feel like it is. Stand up. Oh, no, dude. Uh, I'm not going to hold uh, you. Like, every time I hear Eye to Eye, I cry. Dude, it's I cry a good every time I hear song. that song. And into yep. each other's arms. That one. Fine, we're fine. We're too far apart. apart. That, <laughs> yeah. Tevin Campbell is remembered <laughs> more for that movie. That dude is an incredible R&B act. Like, yeah. incredible R&B singer. No one remembers his early shit. They just remember <laughs> That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. 
did. That's like how Smash Mouth kind of got fucked over by Shrek. It's yeah, like true. no one remembers anything but All Star. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that guy, the lead that's singer of Smash Mouth. I've said this before on the podcast, but I'm gonna say it again. He died recently. He Go did. off in Boise. Oh, he did. Yeah. Was it was it a hit? No, <laughs> it, was, it was a hit. His liver put out a hit on him. <laughs> I didn't really his liver hit his spine in the fucking car accident. Like, whoa, jeez. No, no, no. His liver was Smash upset with all the drinking. Liver. Oh, no, <laughs> decided dude. to fail. Yeah, I could see that. The dude from, like, Bowling for Soup got fucking crazy fat. Have you guys seen that? Uh-uh. You guys remember that? Stacy's my daughter. Yeah, look, yeah. look at that guy, like, when they made that and look at him now he's, dude. so i remember he was really skinny in that video he's got like doesn't he have like the long hair and he's oh like, yeah fucking. yeah and now he looks like a fucking gamestop manager dude like he <laughs> fucking, he's a big dude i didn't even recognize him at first he did this one video on tiktok where it's just like this girl singing the song that i made and she doesn't even know that i'm behind her and i'm like yeah you yeah. look unrecognizable Creepy. like it's <laughs> You look so fucking different. You look like a reverse before and after. Like Also, you snuck up on her. Yeah. <laughs> She's not going to know. <laughs> Why are you in her house? <laughs> That's weird. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Should have seen the look on your face. Anyway. Also, I wrote that song. <laughs> you discovered it? <laughs> in the ocean. Dude. In the ocean, man. Uh, she skated a lot growing up? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. I was I was a little shithead. Like I wasn't any good, but like it was it was more about the fact that like I started like dealing drugs in high school and like up until that point my mom was like, This is what you wear, I pick up all your clothes and shit. Mm-hmm. And then it was just like oh man i want to wear whatever i want so it was just like skate shit because i was like skating and i was tired of people making fun of me skating in polos so i got this <laughs> i went whole hog it was just like yeah dude i'm fucking buying etnies some dc shirts some fucking anything rob deer deck fucking shits yeah. out i'm fucking buying that how much at first glance would you sell me a gram for uh <laughs> first glance or we know each other first glance you dude, got I, my name from a friend, and I, I just dude, 25, got... 25, dude. Back in, back in my day, though. Oh my like, God. back in my day, like, 25, dude. Like, if we're homies, you might get 10 or 15, but, like, I'm I'm double-tapping you, dude. Like, 25. Yeah. And you would pay, you pay no, gladly fair. because we're, we're no, you're in right, 11th you're right. grade. Yeah. Hey, I'm and just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun. I ran into my weed dealer like at my job a couple weeks ago, uh, my old one from, like, mm-hmm. high school and shit, and it was like, did I know you? He's just like, yeah, you look familiar. I was like, Craig, you used to sell me weed. He was like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, he's like, if you need anything, I still do that. I was just like, yeah. oh, shit. Oh, like, damn. He looks like Future now. Longevity. Like, <laughs> he does, dude. He looks like Future. And That's like, wild. he has like kids. Like, I hit him up on fucking Facebook. I was like, uh, I might throw your name to people. I know. You know I, don't, I don't smoke anymore, but a lot of people hit me up for it. Like, I still do. So I'm, I'll throw you some customers. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully none of them are cops. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Uh, How's uh, stand up in it? Alabama? It's it's on the come up right now. It's it's always been like kind of in the shadows. Uh it's kind of always been like just very like homegrown because it's like Birmingham, they have like a scene built into the fact that like there's a lot of like music that goes through there a lot and Huntsville is starting to turn into like the the comedy capital of of Alabama right now. So but I haven't made it that far up to do anything yet, but that's definitely on the fucking blotter. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for for what I know, like besides like the couple black spaces that are out there and I think a lot of them like ultimately end up moving to like Atlanta or like Birmingham and setting up shop because it's just it's a small fucking place and like it's it's hard because like not a lot of people give a shit about it like in a sense of like people go into a bar they just want to either like get drunk or fucking watch the game and like I'm just like so dating's weird <laughs> and they're just like shut the fuck up and you know like but we have a good scene when like when there is like a full crowd and they're engaged like are they generally like oh fun? no it's it, like when we have like, our like, comedy fans yeah, good? yeah when we have like shows you know not just like mics where it's just anybody comes off or anybody can get on mm-hmm. and we have like curated shows like 
everyone gets off. Yeah, everybody gets off. Everyone gets off. Hell yeah. With their with their respective genitalia, everybody gets off. Come. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's fucking. <laughs> It's fucking fun, man. Like, it's like, I think the biggest show besides when I did like my showcase and it was like in the early days, not even really early days, but like a year ago, um, fucking Aaron Belial like came oh. and that was super fucking cool because he brought out like a shit ton of people and it's like a small fucking place. So like having a bunch of people there and this fucking like small and having like people stand up and shit it was just like damn dude like Aaron Belisle he's a killed Tony guy, yeah, he's right? a, yeah he's a non-verbal comedian right, right, and okay. I took him to Waffle House after that and he just shit on Waffle House really? the entire time dude. he's like there's probably gonna be fucking rat shit in my fucking thing I was like dude <laughs> That's a part of the charm, dude. That's all, you just see that in the movies. It's not like yeah, yeah. If anything, you're going to see someone getting a fight in the parking lot. That's probably about <laughs> it. And that's that's a dinner and a show. I don't know what you're complaining about. Like, you're not a fight. Yeah, it's exactly. It's dinner theater. Dinner theater. You fucking eat your waffle, watch someone have a custody battle in the parking lot. Like, you know. <laughs> Whenever I think of Waffle House, I always just think of that fucking viral video, that girl just parrying the chair. Oh, yeah, dude. Like <laughs> a, was like so like a Dark Souls yeah. boss. Like, he's like... <laughs> so, bitch, you're about to walk through the smoke. Like, Holy like, shit. She got fired because of that. I know. That's what? fucking weak as yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you get hired because of that. I don't know. I, f I feel like, yeah, she's definitely, like, working some other Waffle House now. I think. Yeah, if she ever needs a job when I'm big, she can work security for me. Oh, yeah, dude. Because I'm sure people will throw chairs at <laughs> <laughs> just walk around with a chair like just fucking like just give her a stack and <laughs> <laughs> we'll like use these savage just has a chair at she all got, times like, her back. Yeah. <laughs> she cocks it <laughs> <laughs> she's like hey you <laughs> and sits down really quick like, don't move <laughs> don't make me use this fucking thing on you <laughs> and don't make me stand back up <laughs> yeah dude that's that shit is wild I feel like that's like you have to fight for like your job interview. At fucking, yeah. I love that like joke of like working at Waffle House. Like if you can't fight, you don't get to work the night shift. Like you got to work during the day because you don't have hands. That's, that's fucking funny. Out like, this is a, <laughs> like this is a diner. It's like yeah, you're gonna need it. <laughs> this is, I'm telling you, it's really just like dude. Like you see everybody back there. Everybody got a felony. They are not afraid to. They ain't got much to live for, my guy. They, they will fucking ash in your fucking fucking little hash browns and come over there and embarrass you in front of your girlfriend. They will, dude. Just because you fucking got a little bit too loud and brave. Like, you think they give a fuck? They're ready to go back. Like, can just you scramble for those eggs? Three squares. <laughs> All they do is fucking crack eggs and skulls. That's all they fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, dude. I'm so respectful, dude. I'm so respectful. That's like, I, I treat them like they're, they're fucking artists. Like, hey, man, here's a tip. Like, he's fucking. Dude, like, don't be mean to people you handling want on your, your side. food. That's just also that. for like. But that's, because I, I, I went to culinary art school. That's, oh, okay. that's my one, like, thing of certification in my life. But it's like, that is the biggest rule even before then I, like in the army dude like you don't fuck with the dudes who give you your fucking supplies and you don't fuck with the dudes that feed you yeah like that's just like oh yeah you're gonna be a dick i'm gonna come in your eggs mm -hmm. you think there's cameras back here <laughs> yeah. no like and it could happen it's so easy like i believe it yeah i don't I'd, care if there's i'll film it yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's probably what i'll yeah. film it too. i will <laughs> send it to you i don't give a shit <laughs> Yeah, dude. Have you ever seen Waiting? The movie? Oh, yeah. yeah. My dad yeah. made me watch that when I was like a young kid. And so, like, ever since then, I've been terrified. <laughs> you've, been playing the, you've been playing the bat game, though? Yeah. <laughs> you playing the goat? Yeah, dude. Checking out Batwing. <laughs> oh, man. Is that the uh, Buscemi? It's movie. it's got uh, Ryan Reynolds yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. and like it's about like the uh, the Long. day in the life of like this restaurant the waiting staff and oh. the fucking Dane cooks one of the cooks That's, <laughs> yeah he is he's like a line cook or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah not dude. seen it made up your own penis showing game <laughs> dude yeah, that, and it does like so perfectly like. Oh yeah, that is exactly what it's like to work in a fucking restaurant. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that like, scene where they're all like looking at the fucking like.
clock yeah. and, like someone comes in late and they have to like start everything back up dude when I, I, dude that's oh, that's the that's most worse. i've ever felt like ending a life of someone oh, i was dude, just like sure. you piece of shit like you knew we were fucking like 30 minutes out like yeah, why are yeah. you even here dude we, we dude we had this people at a burger joint come in like two minutes before we closed one time and they had the gall to be like we want to eat our burgers here and we want you to bring our milkshakes out to us after we're done with our burgers and we were like you got some milk in your shake fuck you dude <laughs> some man milk <laughs> no, is that so movie shitty. is that movie the one with is craig robinson in it no mm-hmm. no okay it's a, it's an old flick like it's it I is i want to say like early early aughts like yeah it's oh. gotta be like 2002 or three yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. like two, 2005 i think not maybe, sure yeah maybe that yeah late yeah, Justin Justin Long, he was like like that was one of he the He was like the boy <gasps> Wait, back. Is he the, the waiter day. who can memorize people's orders yeah, yeah, without yeah, yeah. writing them down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah, cuz it's like him and Ryan Reynolds and like Ryan Reynolds is trying to fuck the new hostess. Yeah, the like entire and she, time. but he's like he's got a yeah, 2005 year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to like wait until she turns 18 or whatever yeah, in like gross. couple days. Like, it's disgusting. It's, it's <laughs> such a gross vibe. Is that why it's called waiting not cuz they're waiters? <laughs> it's cuz <laughs> That's a big part of the movie, so maybe. It's, it's called waiting in parentheses, statutory. <laughs> statutory <laughs> wait. <laughs> it's a statutory wait limit, dude. Oh, man. That's Icky. Rough. Yeah. Um, Ew, gross Deadpool. How could you? God damn it, Deadpool. Oh, that was that was pre-plastic, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> He's a different guy now. Yeah, dude. He's out here moving different, dude. a different dude. face. <laughs> He's, he's out here boning. Uh, what's his wife? Uh, Blair Lively. Yeah. Blake Lively. Blake Lively. Blake Lively. That's her name. Yeah, yeah. Blake Lively. Out here piping down Blake Lively. We were talking at work today about. I guess there was a post online about who would give the toothiest head between <laughs> the three girls at the Super. It was Taylor Swift, Ice Spice, and, and uh, who were we just talking? About? Blake, Blake Lively. Lively. Blake Lively. <laughs> I feel like. Taylor. We also I, Taylor. I was gonna say Ice Spice. I don't think she'd be too much yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, it, it basically it was down to Blake and Taylor, and we settled on Taylor because we we're like, if you're sucking Ryan Reynolds' dick, you're not gonna do a bad job. <laughs> no, dude. You're paying extra attention. <laughs> yeah, Taylor dude. just looks like a toothy blowjob. No, oh, dude. Like, <laughs> she looks like she has sandpaper hands, dude. She's out there just, just, just punching like, dicks. Like, she looks like she looks like an Eldritch I monster, dude. Time. Like, she's just like. She's got a weird build for sure. Yeah, dude. She's just She's honestly built a lot like Max. <laughs> <laughs> and I love her. We haven't seen them in the same room though. No, that's true actually. I like shiny things. I'd marry you. Uh-huh. That's right. Yeah, they're getting your back blown up by Travis Kelsey. <laughs> You're the one I want. He wishes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, how do y'all feel Different about Travis. this? <laughs> <laughs> That that the fade has Erica? been co opted yeah has been co opted but has been gentrified by Travis they're calling it the Travis Kelsey I was like, fade gentrified I was like you saw the picture didn't you <laughs> <laughs> I had a fade one time I don't like fades I've been saying that I don't I'm not a fan I'm sorry I know <laughs> I didn't want you to go on your fade apology uh, tour <laughs> yeah. I'm fadeless. I mean, they're calling it the Travis Kelsey. It's yeah, just dude. a normal fade. That's, Wait, what, that's crazy. That's what barbers have that's tra- starting crazy. to refer to it as. And like everybody in like black culture are like, what? Like, yeah. what, <laughs> what the fuck are we even talking about right now? But yeah, I don't, I don't know, dude. It's, it's one of those things. I just wondered as, as white guys, have you ever referred to it? as the the as travis kelsey, kelsey no. made. the travis cut no yeah. i didn't even know i didn't even know I've that other people were <laughs> other than i've also, referred to I get... taylor swift's boyfriend as travis kelsey <laughs> okay. I'll, i've done that all right, all right. i'll admit uh, me too. I, uh, it's a pretty white guy thing yeah. of me. <laughs> above sure. board though yeah sure <laughs> Um, I'll say that's my bad. I for like a David Beckham haircut. That's usually the haircut I ask for is the David Beckham, oh. which is just like a normal white guy haircut. The you know? p- I call it the Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it like always looks oh, like to me. Like the sides, yeah, sides, yeah, the sides yeah. are gone. It's yeah, yeah. back. It's just like that's a good one. The Pidgeotto. <laughs> I need to come up with a name for mine. I just say mine's. I just say like you should say you should whatever start. off the top, a half inch more off the side. Give me the Michael Sarah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, no. I just I just started growing my hair out and I fucking hate it. Like I'm just I was so used to like having my hair short from the military and I was like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna get fucking dreads and it's just Your fucking... mustache is longer than your hair. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's fucking not. I think I don't know if, if it's me or my brother on the ladder for male power and baldness or not. <laughs> but like I know it grows way longer in the back than it does on the top. And I'm uh, just, just like it sounds like you just need to do a natural mullet then. Like <laughs> Skull it. Skull it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. That would be pretty sick, honestly, if you just like nothing on top and then just super long dreads off the back. <laughs> oh, dude, <I'm> <laughs> You'd be such a legend. <laughs> but in like, like post apocalyptic in, George Jefferson. In the ring. It's like, it's like, yeah, dude. Yeah, that'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude, I'll, I'll fucking cut it all off, dude. I get a spider tattoo. Like, I just fucking. Oh. Spider web on the. Yeah, yeah there's a spider on the top. I'm like, tell That's everybody I'm in a gang. <laughs> just lie about it. It's like, I'm going bold. No, I'm, I'm a crip or something. I don't know. Like, yeah, is someone going to fight you about it? Like, yeah, what do you. You yeah. prove it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You see my papers or what? <laughs> you want to see my crip my graduation? <laughs> my crip graduation. It's my crip diploma? <laughs> Crip card. I almost became a oh, crip. Oh five. <laughs> card carrying member. You almost became a crip? Yeah. What was that like? Yeah, fucking weird. Cause the guy who wanted me to be a crip, like it was almost the same vibe as like like a boyfriend that wants you to put out in high school and you don't want to. He's like, Come on, baby, like become a crip, baby. Like I was like, no, I don't. Like, I'm, I'm fucking 21. I've never done this before. I knew they were yeah, fraternities. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I heard I'm, it hurts. <laughs> no, take your 52 does hurt. It's just, he's just like, no, oh, dude, you take your 52, it'll be fine. Oh, you mean you and your fucking big homie beat me up in an Arco parking lot? Like, that's what, that's that what your 52 means. 52. Are we gonna get in trouble for saying this? <laughs> no, dude. I mean, I mean, he's saying it. Well, yeah, <laughs> this like, screen is green. <laughs> We're interviewing Max. You're getting too nervous, and it makes it weird. It's literally the one paranoid thing I've said, and I think I said it comically enough to where it's okay. Also, it was for the bit. I never no, became good. a crip, so I think we're all safe. Yeah. <laughs> you found that out and didn't even join, so anyone can do it. Yeah, the the 52 is how many times you get hit. You get oh. hit 52 times. Why? Why 52? Is that like you, a birthday or something? I, I don't know. It's like the Crip birthday in 1952. <laughs> <laughs> when Mr. Crip was 52 years old and, and founded the Crip Foundation. When when Tukey Williams was born. <laughs> we will gladly interview any any Crips that happen to be a fan of this podcast. Hell yeah, dude. You should get a... Uh, so what's surprised. the five five... Five five crip crip Mac. You got oh he's in jail right now oh, though. Yeah. Yeah, you guys should get Crip Mac. He's yeah, fucking he's cool hilarious. as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's Andrew a crip. uh huh? Andrew Callahan did like a bunch of videos on with he, him he was the one stuff. who like put him on. Yeah. Like like he took him to go see uh what was it? Slipknot in yeah. fucking <laughs> Iowa. Yeah. Just took this like crazy tattooed face crip like to fucking go see it the guy was just like yeah man i love it. I, the funniest part was like some guy was like what is that tattoo you have and the the guy he was talking to was like oh yeah man it's travis scott he's like oh that's wild you got another grown man tatted on you bro that's <laughs> <laughs> i was like man this guy kind of rules like it's, it's, he, he says a lot of wild shit Dude, but that was kind of funny he's like man you got another man's name tattooed on you man i was uh, yeah they, he did he just like went back to prison i was i was on andrew callahan's like patreon and he did like another interview with like uh Crips like mom, mama bear. Yeah, mama fucking. bear. Yeah, they they had him talk to him. Which, it's sad too. It is sad, dude. Because they're throwing was, the book at him and like for like bullshit. Well, it's it's because of the fact that like he is on uh like probation. Mm -hmm. Like he can't leave California, and it's that whole thing of just like yeah, he's still a gangbanger, so he has to like worry about like his surroundings. And they caught him with like a fucking gun, and yeah. that's why he ended up getting. But like, that's that's the wildest part about it. It's like, yeah, man, you get in trouble for gangbanging, but they won't let you leave the fucking the state. The state, so you just fall back into that shit. And it's yeah. just it's a trap, man. Well, and, like he needs to leave to work and make money too. Yeah, shit. yeah. Like so, it's even like it's fucked. Anyway, well, that was a good bummer <laughs> thing. I'm sorry. I was like, yeah, right, right, right an hour about time to round up. Uh, it is about time, though. What? Uh, <laughs> Travis, 
Just do you have any fucking really cool things you want to plug now that we're all bummed out? <laughs> I didn't mean to bring the temperature down. I was like, oh yeah, put it back with the present. All right, please. Uh, no, dude. Um, check out um, uh, fucking God. Why am I fucking blanking on this? Fucking comedy campfire roast on YouTube. It's a roast series that I host and fucking produce and shit with my homeboy Jasper Cruz. Um, you guys ever find your way out to Montgomery? Alabama anywhere come see us at the Statesman on South Court Street and uh, yeah uh, BLK underscore to Jesus my Instagram fucking I don't know if they've been putting like dicks over my head on the green screen or not but just like right there like yeah put it in a different color it won't show over the, the, the dicks over you <laughs> The yeah, crazy man. thing is there's like a bunch of green dicks on the green screen already. <laughs> a bunch of Hulk <laughs> yeah. No, man. Thanks for fucking... Thanks for coming. Bro, yeah, this man. Really fun. Yeah, yeah, this has been pretty good. Yeah. Fuck yeah, glad you had a pretty good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs>